Hello everyone, I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. In this video, we're going to connect ISKZ disk on QNAP to Windows. But before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of our content. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your ongoing support. Your likes, comments, and shares mean the world to me. Let's start. Integrating Windows with a QNAP via ISKZ provides a centralized, scalable, and high-performance storage solution. It enables seamless access to NAS storage as a local drive while ensuring secure data transfer through authentication methods. This setup supports flexible allocation, efficient backup and recovery, and features like redundancy and high availability for uninterrupted data access. Leveraging QNAP's advanced storage management tools enhances storage efficiency, making ISKZ a robust and versatile solution for those seeking reliable, high-performing centralized storage. This is my QNAP and also I created Luan and activated ISKZ on this Luan. This is my Windows machine, and I want to add ISKZ Luan as a disk to this machine. First, let me check connectivity to my QNAP. ISKZ uses port 3260. If you have a firewall, you have to open this port. In my environment, I don't use a firewall, and I just check ping QNAP. Click on Start and write ISKZ and open ISKZ Initiator. By default, this service is not running, so click on Yes to enable this service. Windows provides a very easy way to configure ISKZ. By using Quick Connect, if you write IP address of QNAP, everything will be done automatically. This is the discovered target. Click on Done. Open Windows Disk Management. OK, the ISKZ disk appears here. We should make it online and initialize this disk. Select GPT and click OK. Create a new simple volume. Because I use drive D as a CD-ROM, I cannot assign D, I have to change CD-ROM drive letter and then assign D to this drive. I want to use this disk as a VM backup repository, so it's better to format it as refs and 64K. Okay, next, finish. This is ISKZ disk you can use for any purpose. That depends on you. If you have multiple network interfaces on your machine, you can increase bandwidth to use for ISKZ traffic. Also, you can add multiple paths to gain high availability. By using MCS, you can add multiple paths to ISKZ target and also configure the load balancing method. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative, and if you did, 
Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts or any questions you might have. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance your friends and family will too, so don't hesitate to share it with them. Sharing is caring.